okay so guys in this demo we are going to see refraction through prism and also the angle of minimum deviation all right so the light that you see over here is the refracted light this is our prism and this is the laser and this is a reflected light from the prism all right this is our refracted ray and this is where we are getting our refracted point on a screen now the angle of deviation is like this okay there is a red laser that you can see that I'm coinciding with green. So the angle between the incident ray and the refracted ray, this is our minimum, sorry, this is our angle of deviation. I'm sorry for that. This is our angle of deviation, the angle by which the ray gets deviated. All right. And there is also a concept called angle of minimum deviation to see that I'm going to turn this prism such that the angle of incidence increases. Just look how the point moves. All right. I'm going to increase the angle of incidence. You see the dot is moving towards right. That means angle of deviation is decreasing. Okay. The deviation angle is still decreasing. I'm still moving the prism. I'm still moving the prism. The angle of deviation is decreasing. It is still decreasing. Let's see how far can we take it. And at this point, I think we have got our minimum deviation. Okay, I think this is our minimum deviation because if I still increase angle of incidence, you can see that it is going back. Okay, the angle of deviation is increasing. It is now increasing. Okay. So, this is where we get our minimum deviation. You can again see it here. If my, this is my red laser, then this is the minimum deviation. Okay, this is the minimum deviation. And we can also see the graph that is always given in the Okay guys, so this was the graph that I was talking to you about. It is between angle of deviation delta and on your x-axis you have angle of incidence i. Okay, this, this graph is specifically defined for the prism and that this is what we saw on our demo. Okay, I will show you bit by bit how the demo of prism is related to this graph. Okay, now uh, if you could see the green laser, this is the point at which we are starting our graph, okay? At this point, you see that the angle of incidence is the lowest, okay? Maybe close to zero. But the angle of, angle of deviation has a maximum value. But as I increase the angle of incidence, the angle of deviation decreases. It goes on decreasing. And if you could remember, as I was increasing the angle of incidence in the demo, my laser refracted laser was getting towards right it was shifting towards right side because it was shifting towards right because it has to minimize the angle of deviation and at certain point of angle of incidence you see minimum deviation okay at this point the refracted green light in the demo was at the extreme point on the right side and after that, even if I had increased angle of incidence, the angle of deviation got increased, like it is shown in the graph. And physically, you saw that the green laser was coming back towards left. So this is the angle of minimum deviation, okay? It is one specific angle of incidence I for which you get minimum deviation, okay? And now, you know the mystery behind the shape of the shape of this curve okay and i thank you for watching this video i'm rishikesh vibhute and you are watching experimental physics